Hey y'all, Tamara here from Razzle Dazzle Life. Today we're gonna be making some blackened chicken bacon ranch sandwiches. When I tell y'all they go hard, oh, just wait. Woohoo! If you're not already, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, y'all. Let's get started. First, we're gonna start with some homemade ranch. It is so much easier and so much better than store-bought, trust me when I say. You're gonna get equal parts mayo, sour cream, and buttermilk, get you some seasonings. The main culprit here is dill. You have to have that dill. If you can get fresh, that's better. We have dill, chives, garlic powder, zest of a lemon. It's really, really simple. Add it all together, mix it up well, and I put mine into a nice little bottle so that I can refrigerate it. Stick that in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Save it for up to a week. Now let's get started on the seasonings for the chicken, y'all, because this chicken is going to be flavorful. It is blackened. Of course, we have seasoned salt, a little bit of Danos. We have some paprika here. Then we're going to use some black pepper, garlic powder, of course, because everything is better with garlic powder. Then we have some no salt seasoning from Costco's. It just gives it some more flavor, some onion powder. Once you add all those seasonings to the bowl, you're going to mix it up very well. Just keep stirring it up and set it aside. Now I'm going to line my cutting board with wax paper because what we want to do here is get our chicken breasts and pound them out, like so. This step just helps ensure that each piece of chicken is cooked evenly. Now you want to add all your chicken to a nice sized bowl, pour in those delicious seasonings that we mixed up and mix it well y'all. Get that seasoning into every piece of chicken. Set that aside and get your skillet warmed up. I have a Blackstone flat top skillet here. If you don't have it, please use your cast iron skillet or nonstick skillet. Cast iron is best. These black stones are cast iron. As you see, I added the bacon on here. I put some olive oil down so that we can get the chicken going. Just let it all heat up and get your chicken in one layer. Don't overlap it. And then we're just gonna cover it up and let it cook for a good seven minutes before we touch it. If you are cooking in a skillet on the stove top, do the same thing, cover it up. Don't touch it for a good seven minutes or so. Of course, you're gonna cook your bacon and your chicken in separate pans. Go ahead and flip it over once the seven minutes is done. I know you see those fine hibachi skills right there. I just flipped all that bacon at one time. <laughs> you see that nice, brown blackened crust that we have on this chicken that's exactly what we're going for that's thanks to our seasonings to this hot cast iron skillet and to the olive oil we want our chicken blackened y'all we're gonna let it cook on this side for an additional five to seven minutes so go ahead and cover it up then we are going to come back and take this bacon off the grill because it is clearly done i went ahead and let the chicken cook another two or three minutes just to make sure it's done Now we're gonna go ahead and warm up our buns on the same cast iron. We buttered each side. Just let them sit there for about a minute or so, cover it up, and then flip them over. You can see they're nice and crusty brown. That's exactly what we're going for here. And now it's just about time to make these chicken sandwiches. Go ahead and cut up your chicken. I just wanna show you guys how juicy and delicious this chicken turned out. Look at this. I mean, this is the perfect way to make your chicken every single time. For an added bonus, we went ahead and added some cheese onto the chicken because everything is better with cheese. So just hit it with some cheese and let it cook for a few minutes. Now for a side, we went ahead and had some onion rings. So you're gonna see us cooking up some onion rings here. Of course, they're the store-bought kind. That's a whole nother video. I'll have to show y'all how to make homemade onion rings because that's really easy too. And now let's build these sandwiches. I'm so excited. Okay, so start with your homemade ranch. We're gonna put a little bit of lettuce on here and then layer as much or as little chicken as you want. Then of course, you're going to add your slices of bacon. I put about two to three per sandwich. And because we're team ranch over here and this homemade ranch is everything, we went back and hit it with a little extra drizzle. You 
can get the full recipe on my website, www.razzledazzlelife.com, and it's in the description below. Enjoy. One of my favorite parts of using this Blackstone flat top is cleaning it. So I'm just gonna show y'all how I do that real quick. I use this tool to scrape all of the gook and things that are stuck onto the flat top and the grease. I scrape it all into a container that's held in the back. Then I go back and spray it down with some water and I scrape all of that and it just helps loosen anything that could be stuck on the griddle. It's really easy. Once I get everything scraped in there, I take a paper towel and wipe the griddle off really, really well. And then I go back and put olive oil on it just to keep it conditioned and keep it from rusting. Thanks for watching.